One of the first things I wanted to do before I started the conversion on this project was take it out on a little test run to our local state park. But first I want to inspect the hubs and the axle. When I purchased it, I knew that there were issues with it. The tires had uneven wear and the axle looked a little bit bent. This really didn't concern me because I was going to replace the axle and the hubs. One thing I didn't notice was that somebody had bolted one of the wheels to the hub and there were no studs on it. And no matter what I did, I could not get that thing off. But I did want to at least try and salvage the rims. So I pulled the axle with the wheel still attached. I then did a bunch of research on which axle to buy. I found the one I wanted at Northern Tools. Now if I would have known then what I know now, I would have never ordered it from Northern Tools. In an attempt to salvage the rim, I removed the whole hub assembly from the axle. And when all else fails, pull out the grinder. And when that fails, you just gotta order new parts. It was a lot easier to find two new rims and tires as one set than it was to find one replacement rim, so I just ordered two brand new ones. And of course it came with two new tires, so why not? And here is the axle that has been the biggest headache of this whole project. I think quality control may have had the day off. Here is one side of the axle with the proper hub. And here is the other side. A Little bit of an issue there. Oh, and it took about three months to arrive. Which with COVID and everything going on, it's understandable. But the customer service that came afterwards was not okay. So in the eight months that it took for the right hub to finally arrive, I had plenty of time to work on this axle. The axle was a complete kit that came with new springs and new hardware, and it was a 67 inch, which is a little bit longer than what I needed, and I knew I was gonna have to cut it down. So after some precise measurements, and then double and triple checking those measurements, I figured out exactly how much I needed to cut out. Found the center and cut out about four inches. While digging through my scrap pile, I found the perfect pipe that will fit inside of the axle to connect the two. But I needed to cut a little slot so it will slide right in and fit perfectly. And remember kids, safety first. Nothing left to do but to weld the two pieces back together. I just love packing bearings. Packing bearings? Bearings. Oh, bearings. Fast forward about eight months and countless emails later, 
the right hub finally arrives and I can continue on with this project. Done with the axle!